This quick start video will show you how to get started with your first recording. Connect the device you want to test. If you haven't done that yet and you're not sure how, check out the previous video on how to connect your OT Arc. Then start the OT application. Choose a new project and set supply to power box, if it isn't already chosen. Set voltage to the recommended voltage for your device. Set overcurrent protection to a suitable level. Make sure that the current is low enough to not burn your device, but high enough to not exceed the current limit under normal operation. Choose cutoff if you want power to turn off in case of overcurrent. Select limit if you prefer that OT Arc limits the current. If you use the expansion port on the front side of OT Arc, set the digital signal levels to the recommended values for your device. Now let's go to the tab called current. If you want to graph the main current consumption, make sure that this channel is selected. Enable auto range to get the highest possible accuracy. This means that OT Arc will switch between different measurement ranges. If you choose to not switch between ranges, the maximum supply voltage is higher. As you can see, if your ARC is only supplied by USB, the maximum voltage goes from 3.75V volt to 4.2V. But if you plug in a DC adapter, the maximum voltage goes from 4.55V to 5V. Now let's go to the tab called Voltage. To graph the voltage, enable Main Voltage Channel. Then click OK. Press the plus sign to turn on your recording, and then switch on the power on your OTR. As always, check the documentation if you have more questions.